Hello everybody, Wax here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Showdown series. So we are doing our fifth battle, I believe this is, but the second battle with this team. So as you know, we do three battles with each team, and then we move on to another team, another tier. It doesn't really matter, we just do a lot of battles, okay? That's what it comes down to. So we're going to go ahead and jump into a battle here. Uh, I already did go, go over the team last episode, as we always do in the first one. So if you didn't see that, make sure to go back to episode four. And uh, you will be able to see the the roles of every team member on this team. So we are battling Pokecrits, Pokecrits, Pokecrits. That's who we're battling with Salamence, Needle King, Sweet Coon, Sylveon, Fortress. Is that Fortress? Yes, it is. Yeah, Fortress and uh, Mean Chow. So let's see what we got here. Um, what could my best lead be? Scavalier seems like a good lead every single time, but. I don't know if I want to do that right now with Salamence being an option. Fortress could also lead, and when it's Fortress, I don't want to lead with Lance because he's going to set up all over me. So I'm going to go ahead and lead with Torvus. And we see Nido King here, so that's really good. Oh, we get Skull, but he does have a Suicune to take it. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the Stealth Rocks right now, as he also does that. So I'm um, very, very, very unfortunate because I could have Scalded him. Um, right now, he's probably going to switch, so I could roar him out. I definitely could roar him out. I've never seen Stealth Rocks on Nidoking, actually. I most of the time see, like, you see the defensive side with, like, Stealth Rocks and Toxic Spikes on a Nido Queen, and the offensive on Nidoking, but I guess this works as well, if you really want rocks on your team. But, um, uh, right now, I'm, I feel comfortable to go for a Scald. I could also just burn the Suicune. I could have roared. I definitely could have done that, but... Oh, wait. Doesn't it get water absorb? Yes, it does, but it doesn't have it. Okay, okay. So, um... has pressure, actually. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. He's probably gonna want to call mine. I'm just gonna roar him out to see what he wants to do. As he goes into Michelle, so pulling's kind of double switch here. So we're gonna get some extra rocks damage, and he's gonna go out into Salamence. Which, uh, is really good for us. If he's physical, that is. Um, but I am gonna stay in, kind of scout what he's gonna do. We are a bulky Pokemon, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and scald. We do see that he's physical, so if we could get a burn right here. We don't, we don't, we don't, but that's fine. Just gonna scald again. He's gonna Dragon Ends after seeing the roar, so a burn would be amazing. Let's get it. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, there's a lump though. That's why he felt so uncomfortable. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and roar here as he outrages. Uh, does a lot of damage, but doesn't nearly take us out. Nearly doesn't, nearly takes us out. Excuse me. As he goes into Minshaw, so uh, we are in here with a physical wall. So Torvis is just gonna have to take some more hits, I guess. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna scald again. As he goes for a high jump kick, doesn't miss. I guess you can't rely on a miss, but you know, you know, you know. Um, and this is kind of bad actually because we don't have anything. Well, you do have Mega Man. We have a Mega Man right here, which can close combat this thing. Uh, we could do that, and that's kind of our only option, too. It really is. So, um, let's just go for a close comment here. See how much this does. If he switches out into Salamence, uh, I think he's still going to drop after two close combats. So, uh, we should be fine. So, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start the timer on this guy. Poker crits. Sorry, buddy. You know what? I need to tell you something. I know your last name, Poker Chris. I know your last name. You know what it is? Alright, I'll tell you. I'll tell you in a second. I'll tell you in a second. So we're gonna close combat. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to make jokes, but I'm not funny, okay? So we just close combat this week in here. This is about 34. And he's probably gonna want to scald us and burn us and all that. Geico seems like the perfect switch in. Uh, he's gonna rest. He's gonna fall asleep. No chest, though. So a sleep talk rest right there. Or rest sleep dog, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, let's see here. We could Thunderbolt. Nido King could come in. He's prob he probably is gonna come in. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and call that. I'm gonna go ahead and call the Nido King coming in here. So if I know that, what would I do? What would I do? I guess I go into lands. Yeah, let's go into lands. If he stays in. All right, he doesn't. He doesn't. There we go. There's the Nido King. All right. So we made that play. Which right now, we could knock off, but he could have like Fire Blast. And 
I, I can lift one, I know that, but I'm not going to lift two, so I'm going to go ahead and drill run. Actually, Earth Powers, which also does a lot of damage, but we're just going to kill this Nidor King, obliterate it, destroy it. You're not a king anymore. You're only a Nido. That's right. You heard me. All right. <laughs> uh, Lance could possibly take it. It probably won't, though, but we have nothing that really wants to take that hit. And uh, I want to keep every single Pokemon. So there's a good purpose right now. Uh, maybe Mega Man. But then again, I d I d that's the only thing that can outspeed this thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and stay in. Uh, I don't know if Iron Head is resisted. That's kind of noobish on my part. I think it isn't. Well, I guess we'll never find out. Uh, he goes into that. I mean, he just kills me. All right. So we go into Heracross here. We can outspeed this thing with our Scarf that we have. And uh, we could predict Nidoran coming in, uh, Salamence coming in, but uh, too close combat should, like I said before, take it out. So we can do that. Suicune is at full though. We can, yeah, close combat seems like the best thing to do. Except for Sylveon. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So I could Stone Edge as well. Or Earthquake. Or Earthquake. I feel like Sylvan has to come in, right? Or Salam. I'm gonna Stone Edge. Goes in a fortress as we miss a Stone Edge. Alright, that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna switch out. So this is the is the time where we even uh either go into Scooby Doom and um Yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna do that. But we could also Dragon Ants with Haxorus, so it's one or two. He's probably gonna set up spikes or some or rapid spin. Either one of those. I'm going to set up a nicer dash plus. I'm doing it. So we're going to break the mold. And he rapid spins. Okay, so that's a free dragon ends. So now let's just hope he doesn't explode. And I think nicer dash plus should be able to pick up a little sweep here. We didn't see a fake out on Amin Shao. So that could be like a reckless bandit. High jump kick. I don't know if he saw a regenerator actually. didn't. I didn't pay enough attention for that. But uh, we get a free Dragon Ants. If he goes into Sylveon, that's fine. He goes into Suicune, probably Rest, Sleep, Talk, Ice Beam. But I'm going to go ahead and risk getting Dragon Ants again. Maybe I should have Earthquaked already, since I wouldn't be locked in. Uh, but that's fine. He's going to Scald me. He's going to burn me, but he do have the Lum. We do have the Lum. So I can't Outrage, so I'm just going to Earthquake here. I'm not going to Dragon Ants again. Not going to get too greedy. So let's just hope he... Alright, Calm Mind. Alright, that's good. Well... It's not really good, but whatever. All right, we're going to Earthquake again. He's going to wake up sooner or later. He just needs to... Oh, yes, Ice Beam. Oh, no, he doesn't. Don't burn me. Don't burn me. Yes. That's really good. That is really, really good. Salamence, we can just Earthquake. Even if Salamence comes in, that's fine. Actually, no, that's not fine. Because we will have to lock ourselves into... Well, no, Poison Jab is actually going to take it out, right? Plus two Poison Jab. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We're just going to kill the sweet one right here. And uh, Nice Rush Plus is looking good, but this wasn't the best time to set up. We still have Fortress and Sylveon. And he's at full. And the Gyro Ball is definitely going to kill me. So with either I Outrage this Fortress and I kill it. And then Sylveon comes in and kills me. Or I Earthquake it. He Gyro Balls me. And kills me. So, let me think here. I think I'm just going to Outrage. I'm just going to do it. Fuck it. I'm doing it. There's your Gyro Ball. So, well, I didn't really take him out because that was resisted. So, actually, out uh, Earthquake just would have been plain better. Basically. <laughs> Basically what it comes down to. That's kind of retarded. Alright. It's fine though. Uh, I just clicked Houndoom without thinking. That wasn't really smart actually. Um, well, it probably was the best play anyway. Alright, alright. So we're going to Mega. I'm actually going to Dark Pulse here. Am I going to Dark Pulse? Uh, no. I'm going to Flamethrower. It's going to go into Sylveon. There we go. So... Um, 
Wow, that is specially defensive. Oh my god. Uh, we should lift one hit so we can flamethrower again. And he's probably going to hyper voice us. There we go. Now, the the problem is he's either going to wish or he's going to a hyper voice. So, it's very hard to call that. I guess Destiny Bond is better. Because even if he wishes, then we can we can play this mind game, I guess. There, there's the wish. Oh my god. I should have just flamethrowered. No, I shouldn't. No, I shouldn't. He doesn't have protect. He's not real. Alright, I'm going to Destiny Bond again. He wishes again. And we truly are going to play this game. I'm probably just going to flamethrower from now on. Non-stop. So he also does have protect. So we are playing this game. If I if I if I actually um, predicted the wish like I had to, that would have been amazing. He just goes for the hyper voice. He just wow. Okay. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, guy goes thunderbolt. is not gonna take it out. But a magman's earthquake wouldn't take it out either. So I think we lost this match either way. Let's see here. Maybe a clutch para. We live on one. Who needs a clutch para, man? Let's see here. Alright, it doesn't matter. We we need a, a para. Uh, we need to paralyze him and get a full para. Or a crit. Or a crit. So we're not gonna get either of those. He's gonna wish. He's gonna protect next turn. That's going to be game. We need to lock ourselves into. Close combat, probably. Yes, even against a Sylveon. Yeah. I'm going to lock myself into close combat. He is going to protect here, and that should be the game. Um, not for me, but for him. Unfortunately, unfortunately, unless he would get a crazy crit. So a crit would, would not have taken it out, and Hyper Voice is going to kill me. So that was a very nice match we had here uh, against Folk Crits. Poke a crit. I made that joke already. It's not funny. I'm sorry. All right. So that's going to be the game, guys. If you enjoyed this um, 31, 31 length game. If you enjoyed it, make sure to press the button of thumbs and react in a section of comments. Uh, a new uh, of a new showdown battle should be up in two days um, or earlier. Depends. It really depends. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed you. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Um. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and this has been Waxy. I'm out. Peace.